Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Jashley and if you're watching this, that means that like me, you suffer from a little bit of thoracic spine tightness. Uh, when I mean thoracic spine, I mean the area below the neck, the nape of your neck, and the bottom of your ribs. So this area right here is your thoracic spine. It is made up of 12 vertebrae, T1 to T12, and it sits just below the cervical spine and just above the lumbar spine. So just below the neck and just above your low back. Now, typically we wouldn't see a lot of um, thoracic spine or mid-back tightness or injuries in that area as we would with our neck and with our low backs. And that's mainly because of the lack of mobility of the thoracic spine compared to your cervical and your lumbar spine. So because our thoracic spine is attached to our ribs and our ribs sort of protect our vital organs, we don't have that much mobility, which is why you don't commonly see um, a lot of injuries in this region. However, it can be common to find a lot of tightness and pain in our upper back as we do have a few muscles that sort of surround the area. We've got our uh, trapezius muscles, we have our latissimus dorsi, and we also have our rhomboids that connect our shoulder blades. And I'm here to show you a few stretches that you can do throughout your day to help relieve a little bit of that tightness or that pain you might be feeling. Sometimes when you're sitting in a position for a very long time, we'll start to hunch over. So sometimes our back muscles will start to lengthen our chest muscles are a little bit shorter, so we sometimes will feel a little bit of pain um, in our backs, or if you're sitting for a long period of time, you'll typically notice some pain there. So go through a few exercises with you. Some of them you don't need any equipment, but I will be demonstrating some that will require a foam roller. And or if you have, I'll also be showing you an exercise that you can do, um, or stretch that you can do with a golf ball like I have here which I'm using in place of a um, lacrosse ball which I was not able to find today but a golf ball a little bit harder um, and a little bit smaller but it will work for today's purpose so let's start with some that you don't need any equipment for stuff that you can do in between your day when you're sitting down for long periods of time at your desk. So to start, we're going to come into this four point position. So on the hands and knees. So what you're going to do is inhale and drop your belly button down, lift your head up. So right now we're creating a curve in our low back. Then you're going to exhale, arch your back up towards the ceiling and feel those shoulder blades separate. Then you're going to inhale again, drop your low belly down. Then exhale, curl up. What you don't want here is the movement to be transferred to your hips or to the shoulders. You don't want the hips moving or the shoulders moving. It's all in your spine. Good, so you're just gonna do a few more of these. Give me two more. Feel good. Last one. Awesome. All right, come back to neutral. Our second exercise that you can do here without any equipment is a child's pose. So one option is bringing your big toes together and then bringing your knees out towards the side of the mat and then reaching your hands far away from you, from your body. Drop your head down towards your mat. And you're just gonna hold this position. This position is great for feeling that stretch along the sides of your body, those lats. It's also great for helping to relieve a little bit of low back pain. And since we're here lengthening the body, it'll also help us um, with our posture as well. And if you want to feel a little bit of a side stretch, you can crawl your hands over to the left side, right hand over the left, and you'll do the same thing here. You'll hold this position. 
20 to 30 seconds. And when that time's up, you'll crawl your hands to the other side. And same thing, this time your left hand will be over the right. And then we'll come back to center. Good. All right. So that was our second exercise without any equipment. Our third one I'm going to show you is a little bit of a rounding of the back. This one will specifically target the rhomboids, so the muscles that are um, that connect your shoulder blades to the spine. So you're going to connect your fingers in front of you. What you're going to do is gently pull your fingers apart. So you might feel your shoulder blades separate, which is what we want. And you're just going to let your head relax. Good. So I'm not using too much pressure. I'm just, you know, separating my fingers and pulling them apart gently. And I am feeling that stretch in my mid back in between my shoulder blades which for myself is where I typically feel a little bit of discomfort. I'm just going to hold this position here for a little bit. Just for three more breaths. Two more. And last one. Awesome. Good, slowly release. All right, so now we're gonna sit on our backs. So there's two ways that you can do this one. You can sit cross-legged if that feels comfortable for you. And from here, what I'm gonna do is take my right hand, place it on my left knee, bring my left hand behind me. And I'm just going to slightly turn. Okay, so as I mentioned, there's not that much movement in our thoracic spine, but doing this stretch, you feel a little bit on the sides of your mid back as opposed to the center. Good, so what we wanna make sure that we're doing here is keeping our spine nice and tall because the reason why we sometimes feel a little bit of back pain is because we have poor posture. So we wanna keep that spine nice and tall before you get into this twisting motion. Good, exhale back to center. And now we're gonna switch sides. So my left hand is now on the outside of my right knee. I'm gonna twist. Good, we're just gonna stay here for another two deep breaths. And two. Awesome. Coming back to center. So we're going to do another twisting one. This one is going to be a lying one. So what we're going to do is have your hands out towards, sorry, what we're going to do is have your knees out towards one side and then we're going to sort of come into this sideline position. So your hands are clasped together and your knees are bent at 90. The key here is trying to keep your knees together as you glide that top arm across and out. So you can either hold this position if it's comfortable for you for a few seconds and then you can come back, meet those hands back together, slide that top arm across the chest and open up. So notice how my knees are staying together Good. So this here, we're opening up our chest. So as I mentioned, part of the reason why we're tight in our mid back is because of poor posture. So if our chest muscles are tight, then we're going to have some issues on the back. So we sort of want to open up the chest and open up that thoracic spine region. Let's do one more. Awesome. Now we're going to flip sides, do the same thing on the other side here. Knees are bent at 90, 
glide that top arm across, open up. Bring it back to center. Open up. And two more. Gliding that top arm across the chest, open up. And the last one. And back. Awesome. All right, so from here, we're going to sit up. Now, if you have a foam roller, this is where you can now grab that and place it behind you. If you don't have a foam roller, another option that you can do, similar concept, is if you've got a soft ball, one of those squish balls, if you do Pilates, you probably have one of those, just a soft ball that you can place behind your back just at the bottom of your ribs. So I'll show you doing it from the floor and I'll explain how to do it from a chair if you don't have a foam roller. So you're placing the foam roller at the base of your ribs. You're gonna support your head and your neck. What you're gonna do is just gonna let your body drop over the foam roller. So here I'm keeping my hips on the ground and my knees bent. So you're just gonna open up here. Then you can come back and repeat. Good. If you're comfortable, you can always add a little twisting motion to this as well. If you're comfortable, going to the side. Otherwise, just staying right here and letting your body hang. If you want to feel a deeper stretch, you can keep your head, your hands overhead. If that's a bit more, um, if that helps you out a little bit more. And if you don't have a foam roller, as I mentioned, you can use the ball in place. So you'd be doing the similar movement, except imagine that I was sitting upright with a chair behind me and you would just do the same thing. Just arch your back behind the chair and let that squish ball support you. And you'll feel that nice opening in that in that chest region and you'll also feel the foam roller helping your back relieve a little bit of that pain here. Awesome. So this one is my personal favorite. Love the foam roller um, I because mainly I can adjust my pain, um, the pressure that I actually put on myself when I'm doing this. So I can always lessen it. I can always uh, do more and I also love to be able to roll back and forth to help stretch out those muscles all right guys so last one as I mentioned I'm using a golf ball I couldn't find my uh, lacrosse ball but if you have a lacrosse ball same thing here except this one will be a standing exercise so you're going to place the lacrosse ball or the golf ball on the spot that hurts. So for me right now, I'm going to place it just on the inside between my shoulder blade and my spine. I'm placing that ball there and I'm just gonna apply a little bit of pressure. So right here, I'm just adding some pressure to the golf ball to help release some of that tension in my muscles. If this is not enough for you, you can always add in some wall slides. So lifting your arms up overhead dropping the elbows in towards your side. And here you might feel a little bit more pressure, but if just sitting against the wall with that lacrosse ball or the golf ball on that spot that's sort of triggering you, then this is fine. You sort of just sit here, hang out. And then once you're set, switching over side and doing the same thing on the other side. So to make it even, I'm just going to do a few wall slides right here. Good. So while you're doing this, you're sort of activating your muscles as well. And if you do this, you do feel the difference between moving your arms versus sit, sitting against the wall. And again, either or will work. 
awesome. All right, so there you go. The video is short and sweet. Um, you can always put this video back on a loop. What I would recommend is taking at least 10 minutes of your day, about three times during your day, 10 minutes to just open up, to move, to get up from your seat, and to work on some of these stretches that I took you through to help with posture. So not only will it help, you know, with a little bit of temporary relief, but over the long run, the more you do this, the better your posture will become and the better it will be for your thoracic spine health. So thank you for joining me. Really hope you learned something new today and I really hope that these exercises help you moving forward because I know that they certainly helped me. Thanks for watching. Take care.